Greetings again to my dear IT students. Welcome to this another lecture video about another topic which will contain Python operators, data types, and then conditional statements. Without much ado, let me share with you this presentation that will help me discuss our topic for this uh, video. Okay, so our first uh, topic is about the Python operators. We are all familiar with this term. When we say operators, in general, these are used to perform operations on values and variables. These are the standard or these are standard symbols used for the purpose of logical and arithmetic operations. So there are different types of Python operators. So first we have this what we call arithmetic operators. So this type of operators are used to performing mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So here are the different uh, types or the different operators under this arithmetic type. So in the first column, you can see here the different operators. In the second column, the description of each operator and their syntax in the third column. So we have here the addition, we're so familiar with this uh, uh, operator. And we have here the subtraction, the multiplication, the division, the division float. It displays the result of uh, the equation with the decimal. And then the division floor uh, displays only the, the whole number, the result that the whole number result of the equation. And then we have here the modulus, which returns the remainder when the first operand is divided by the second. And then we have here the symbol for the power, okay, double asterisk. It returns first raised to power second. Let's move on. So as to uh, the computation using the various uh, arithmetic operators, we have this what we call rules to follow. Okay, I think you are familiar with this already. So we have here the what we call order of operations in case uh, there are multiple operators that uh, appears in a certain equation or mathemat mathematical expressions. So we follow this uh, basic rules, which we call PEMDAS, or uh, please excuse me, dear Aunt Sally, if you're familiar. So the, the first uh, priority is the what we call parentheses. Okay, so meaning if you can see in an equation that there is a parentheses, you have to perform the equation inside the parentheses first before any other operations. It will be followed by exponent, okay? After a parenthesis, then if there is an exponent or there are exponents in the equation or in a mathematical expression, we first we, we uh, perform this first before any other. No? And then of course we have this what we call multiplication and division. So in case the multiplication and division uh, comes in a single equation and uh, uh, we have to follow this what we call uh, work we have to work for, or it works you know, from left to right we have to first perform the, the the left okay if the multiplication comes first in the equation then we have to first multiply if the division comes first before the multiplication that means we first have to perform the division you know, before the multiplication if it comes first in the equation so that we are to follow the what we call left to right order and that's also true with addition and subtractions. If the addition comes first before the subtraction in an equation, then we first have to perform the addition. But if otherwise, then we have to perform the sub subtraction. So that's about the order of operations. Okay, so let's move on for an example as to how that the arithmetic operators work no, in Python programming. So suppose the variable a here is equivalent to 9, or the assigned value for a is 9, and for b is 4. OK, so we are to tell the, the, the computer to perform the following. OK, so to add, we have to do this. Add equals a plus b. So what do you think will be the answer? OK, let's see later the result of this, uh, uh, of this code. Next. Subtraction is A minus B. Multiplication, okay, that would be A times B. The division, A, okay, divided by B. 
the division 2, okay, uh, A divided by B, and then the modulus, we have A, you know, uh, modulus B, and then the power A to the power of B. Okay, so we have to command the uh, system to print the result of the following uh, computations or of the following codes. No, It will display the result of the addition, of the subtraction, the multiplication, the division 1, the division 2, then the modulus, then the power. So the result will be this. Okay, so the result for add the variable that has an equation of a plus b is 13. So is it really 13? Okay, so that means 9 plus 4, that would equal to 13. Correct, okay? And a, 9 minus 4 would be 5. Then 9 times 4 would be 36. Then uh, 9 divided by uh, 4 would be uh, 2.25 with decimal. And then 9 divided by uh, 4 would be 2 without decimal. That's, what, that's the difference. And then we have uh, a to the power of b. Okay. So that means, uh, I think I forgot something. Okay. Modulus. Okay. A modulus b. That's 1. The remainder. Okay. Modulus means the remainder of uh, uh, 9. No? Times uh, divided by 4. Then the remainder is displayed here. And that's 1. And then a to the power of b, that would mean uh, 6,561. Okay, so this is already how the Python programming will interpret the, this uh, input no, in the system. So that's 13, and this is 5, this is 36, this is 2.25, this is 2.2, and this is 1, and the 6,561. So that would be for the arithmetic operators. So let's move on to another type of operators which we call comparison operators which we use to compare. Okay, So we see comparison operators, comparison or relational operators compares the values. It either returns true or false according to the condition. So we have here in the first column, you can see here the, the operators. The second column is the description of each operator then the syntax. So this is uh, named to be greater than operator. True if the left operand is greater than the right. So we are already familiar with this. And this one is the what we call less than. True if the left operand is less than the right. And then we use double equal, okay, for the equal to. True if both operands are equal. Not equal to two, okay, exclamation point, exclamation point, then equal. Not equal to, true if operands are not equal. Then greater than or equal to if the left operand is greater than or equal to right. Less than or uh, equal to if the left operand is less than or equal to the right. So they are the what we call comparison operators. And if we are to use them in Python programming, these are examples of relation operators or the what we call comparison operators. If you are to do the coding no using such operators. So we have here a variable a and b again. So the value for a is 13 and the value for b is 33. So example a, uh, print meaning the, the system will display the result of the following comparison. So a is greater than b. Okay, later we'll be seeing that the output, not the result. Next we have uh, a is less than b. Okay, next we have a is equal to B. Okay, next A is not equal to B. Next, uh, A is greater than or equal to B. And then lastly, we have A is less than or equal to B. Okay, so let's find out the result. So here are the results. So uh, for the first operator, the, the answer is, or the result is false because a is 13 and b is 33 and it's not true that that 13 is greater than 33 that's why the result is false next is a is less than b that's true because indeed 33 is greater than or less than 13. next we have here uh, a is equal to b false of course they're not equal then a is not equal to b of course that's true because they're not equal and then the, next we have uh, 
A is greater than or equal to B, no, that's false. And of course, we have A is less than or equal to B, okay, true. So that's how the Python programming works now on, on a particular uh, uh, operation. Let's move on. Next is we have the logical operators. So we see logical, they perform logical and logical or and logical not operations. It is used to combine conditional statements. So example, the first column is, uh, shows us the logical operators, the different logical operators. The description is at the second column and the, the third column shows us the syntax. So end operator, logical end uh, uh, displays true if both are upper if both the operands are true, okay? Uh, it displays uh, the logical or true if either of the operands is true, okay? And uh, the not, logical not, true if the operand is false, okay? So let's see how it, how it works in Python programming. So again, we have here Python 3 uh, examples. So let's say A is true and B is false boolean value so we have here uh, print a and b print a or b and print not a let's see the result is this so the result for the first uh, input is false because a and b are not true okay they're not uh, the same okay they're not true they're not all of them is not, they're not both true something like that next we have a or b okay true okay because either of them is true okay a is true although the b is false okay either next we have not a okay because a is not a false uh, i mean it's not a false value or doesn't have this what we call false value okay so that would be for the uh, operators in uh, python let's move on to the variables in python what about variables in python so when we see variables, they are names bounded to objects. Okay, we name there are assigned value to a certain uh, name or variable. Okay, so let's move on. So variables in Python. So we have to assign a variable a value to a certain vari variable. Uh, the syntax will be the variable name, then you, uh, you specify the value. Example. We have here a uh, a equals 5, capital letter A equals 5, and the cap small letter A equals 10. Okay, then we have here the uh, rules as to how we are to name the variables. Okay, so first is a variable must contain letters, numbers, or underscores. So in naming a variable, it should be letters or it should limit only to letters, numbers, or underscores if you are to use a special character. Only underscores are acceptable. Okay, so it should not start with a number. Okay, this is a wrong naming of a variable. Next, we have spaces are not allowed. Okay, if you are to name a variable, you must have, if you want to have a space, maybe you are to use underscore, you know, specify a certain space. Okay, so the other one is correct. Is a correct example. It cannot be keywords, okay? We cannot use those keywords that are already stored in the Python programming. Next, we have short and descriptive are best, okay? So that you can easily identify maybe the function of such particular variables. We'll, we'll make it short and descriptive. And of course, it is, it is case sensitive, okay? Sensitive. So capital letter A is different from small letter A, okay? They're two different variables okay how it works in uh, python programming so later we'll be showing you examples so let's move on to data types in python okay so there are lots of data types but i'll only be uh, introducing the, the four uh, basic data types that we'll be using in python programming so first is we have integer or int that means integer numbers so example, a negative four, negative three, zero, five, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, they are int or the what we call integer numbers. Another data type is load. Okay, that has decimal. They are decimal numbers. Examples: negative four point five, 
negative 6.7, 8.5, 10.5, and so on. Another data type is bool or the what we call boolean values. Example, true and false. Next is str or the what we call strings. Example, Python. They are usually double quoted. If you are to specify a certain value as a string, you are to quote it, double quote it. Okay, so those are uh, the content of today's topic in this lecture video. I hope you've learned from this uh, content and uh, I would like to give you more in our next uh, lecture video. So that would be all for now. God bless everyone and thank you.